Good morning, everyone. Today is going to be a really exciting day on our homestead. Our friends Abby and Chris are going to be bringing their two Idaho pasture pigs to be bred with our registered boar, Yarl. Don't know how today is going to go, but we'll certainly find out. our very first nice warm day where we actually got a lot of stuff done on the farm. So we were able to set up the big waterer for Yarl, our boar, and for the two new girls that'll be coming. And um, we were able to clean out some of the barn, although it looks atrocious, but oftentimes you make a mess before you clean it up. And we were able to clean up near our hay pile as well. So. Oh, and uh, we also planted over like 100 pounds of pasture seed. So as long as the pigs don't eat it or the birds don't eat it, hopefully we'll have a nice pasture in this field. So now it's time to go feed our biggie piggies. And um, on our farm, we do Idaho pasture pigs. Some are registered, some are not. But yesterday we were able to do 110 stock tank as a water. We just put the nipple through the threads and hopefully that lasts a long time instead of the blue barrel waterers. Our problem with the blue barrels was they just kept knocking them down and ripping out the nipples. But I'll show you the water in a minute. Let me just feed these guys. This is Helga and her two sons, Romulus and Remus. And there's the star. This is Yarl. Yarl is our registered Idaho pasture pig boar. A boar just means that it is a, an uncut male, meaning he's very much intact to do the deed. Hi, right, Yarl. You hungry, buddy? Great, well, you're gonna have a big day. So I'm gonna show you the water. So what we did was we basically just put a 110 gallon stock tank on top of two cinder blocks. That way it's all evenly dispersed. And then we just put the nipple on the other side. We were pretty worried. We were pretty worried that it was gonna leak because this was an old nipple and we had some caulking on it. But so far it's not a leak at all. So that's a success. Our next, our next step that we would wanna be doing with this is we're gonna actually put a cover over it or um, maybe I will buy some of those black cattle balls. That way when our cow is up here with our pigs, they can come up and still stick their head in and drink. So now the only thing for me to do is to top off the rabbit's food and water, feed and milk the cows. I'll milk the cow first and then I will feed and then after that, it's making sure the horse and the cows have hay, muck the stalls, start breakfast. Then, then I can sit down and have a cup of coffee. Anyway, somebody had wanted us to do a vlog style and I've truly been wanting to do it for quite a while. Um, I haven't found the style that I liked yet. So it's going to be a work in progress and hopefully the channel will grow with it. So. There's that. So right now I'm just going to be feeding the cows or at least getting the buckets ready for them to be fed. I don't feed our milk cow Lily until she's done milking. Only because she gets what I call grain brain. And she gets really excited and tries to push me off and hurry me up for milking. And I end up not milking her out all the way. So, I feed her after. So 
So my morning chores are done. I finished milking. I gave everybody hay. I just wanted to show you guys the cutest thing ever. Look at all the baby bun buns. There are so many. So this is Daphne. Daphne is our silver fox doe. The silver fox is a heritage breed, but this is her first litter and she had eight. Now I haven't gone and sexed everybody, so I don't know who's male and who's female, but inevitably I ha will probably have both. Abby and Chris brought their registered Idaho pasture pigs, Dolly and Reba, down to our farm to be bred by Yarl, our Idaho pasture pig. Yarl is a registered boar, so they will have registered piglets hopefully sometime this summer. Now, I can't say the day truly went without a hitch. There was one minor problem, and that was our fencing. I didn't get a video of it, but our two young boarlets, Romulus and Remus, decided to try to make Reba and Dolly their girlfriends. They escaped underneath the fence. Now, we got it real quick. With the help of expert pig wrangling from Chris, we got the both boys back into the side of the pen that they were supposed to stay in. After that, the four of us worked on it for about an hour to get the fence electrified. Now, we don't just have one wire. We electrify the whole cattle panel division. Now, you may not have known that you could electrify cattle panel, but you can. As long as you have a strong enough fence charger and enough insulators, it lights up pretty good. And with that repaired, the pigs were able to stay in their own pen and are only able to make googly eyes at the girls. Now the girls are settling in quite nicely. There's been no rough and tumbles, but there also hasn't been any breeding yet. And that's because they're not in heat. And in order for a gilt, an unbred female pig, to get pregnant, she needs to go through a cycle first. Now we're gonna keep these pigs here until they get bred. And we know that Yarl is proven based on our past litters. So hopefully, this summer, Abby and Chris will have their own registered piglets that they can share with you guys. If you wanted to check out Abby's farm, you can check her out on Instagram at abbyvlogger. I'll make sure to put the link in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed before, please do so. And one up yourself, hit that notification bell and stay tuned for more. See you next time guys, bye.